Yo, hello everyone. Do you want to make it easy for your visitor to connect with you on social media? In this video, I will show you how to add social media icons on Webflow. From selecting the appropriate social media icons to linking them to your social media profiles. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. And here we go guys. Now I'm I am on this page, so how can I add the social media icons in here? First of all, we have to get a specific place where to put them. As an example, if we'd like to put them over here, let's try this out first. So if it is possible for us to edit this section, because some of the templates will not allow you to do so. So click on here and then go to this elements section and then search for image. So let's go all the way down. And here we go. So now we have image. Click on it. Now let's try to put it over it. So elements can't be dragged into components instance. It is component to add elements. So we have to add this component like so in order to add elements into them. So let's write this out once more. We can't really do so. So now I will try to add some other elements from here if it is possible. But if it is not, it has no problem. So eventually there is no way to add it. So let's try to add the social media, for example, over here in this section. So what I'm going to do first is to add the icons. So let's click here, image, choose image. And here we can search, for example, for Facebook. So social media, there is nothing. So what can I do? We don't have the images here. We can simply just upload images from our PC. We can go, for example, here, Facebook icon PNG, and we can go to this page, and we can download whatever icon we'd like to. So let's click on this one, download, choose the site that is best for you, so download. And here we go. So now let's click on upload files through here, and choose Facebook icon, and then upload it. And here it is. So now, how can we really move it? Simply by clicking on this Facebook icon and then go into here, into the spacing. So the spacing section will help us move it. So let's try to move it to the right a little bit. Here we go. We have moved it a little bit to the right. We can move it as long as we can. So here we go. Let's put it in the middle, for example. And just like that, we can add like basically other social media next to it as Twitter, Instagram, and etc. Now, once you have put it in the correct place that you'd like it to be, click on it, right click, and then click on this settings icon over here. And now you can go to show all settings, and here it will have a bunch of options. So here you can, for example, uh, add the link to it, add so many stuff to it through this section itself. You can add attributes and much more. Here we can even make give it a description so how it loads uh it has so many diff like uh, ways of loading so you can choose from them and here you go this is as simple as that and how to add an icon so now how we can actually add a link into it now guys to actually add any kind of links just click on it and then go ahead and choose to wrap in link block just like that, link and link cannot be nested inside each other. So now we have, I have already done it before. So now all we have to do is go to the link block. And from that, so now let's go to the block here. I'm going to make it into the link block. And basically what it does, it will give us the actual way to add a link. So all you have to do is go to add the attribute that you have already here. And then add the block into it. Or add the link that you have chosen before. So it is as simple as that. And this is an example of a like a link block. So as you can see, this is a link block. Uh, let me just find the block itself. Uh, here it is. And now you just go here, for example, and add the URL that you'd like to add. So here we have URL, we have page, you have section, you have like contact form, or you have even a, a phone number. So here, for example, you can go to facebook.com and open a new tab. And here, like, you can choose what kind of preload you'd like. And just like that, you have added a link into the actual image. So here we are. Now we are done. All you have to do next is publish the selected domain. And 
once the people are going to come to and visit your website and click on this icon they will eventually be able to go to your facebook page that you have added the link in the link block it is as simple as that now you might ask me uh, what if I didn't I didn't like this I didn't to add like to add images etc and add link this is taking too much time what should I do is there any kind of template that has everything already uh, ready to use I just have to change the icons well as an example this link itself so this page itself has the possibility to do so so here as you may see there is the social media links links in the bottom so you can either for example copy this whole section and paste it for example in the top uh, of the website so you can paste for example over here and just what you have to do is remove this text and etc and just from these things you can move them around put them in the middle uh, so we go to spacing and then we can move them to the middle of the website uh, just like so let me just move them way more and I can I think put this uh, above let me just try um, no, I can't really put them above, but yeah, you got the idea. And what, once I've done this, all I'm going to do is delete all the other sections that are separating my website, and then click on each one of these icons, and eventually I, I will be able to actually change the link. So if I clicked on him, here we go, URL. So we have all the URLs of all of these. We can change them one by one and put our own links. So there is this option of finding a ready to use social media icons in the template and, and guys uh, as a side bonus option or information you can actually get some kind of different layouts and templates of social media icons on the webflow marketplace for free as you may notice over here so here they are here they are all the social media links there is like white ones, black and uh, black and white, uh, gray and white, gray and white, uh, black and white as well, and colored ones. So you got here all kind of different templates of social medias with all kind of social media links from Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, Google, etc., etc. Even BMO, Signal, Clubhouse, and much more. You can simply just copy paste. So you can just copy them and paste them on your website simply like that or if you'd like to use f site which is a uh, kind of another platform to help you add webflow uh, uh, like social media icons to your webflow website you can look into the site make sure to register into it and then choose social media from their widget and then choose the circles choose rounded or squared and then simply they will give you an embed code that you can add into your webflow website so this is these are like other ways to have your uh, social media icons added to your site so this is like different ways to add them I showed you one of them here is the other and here's the third so there is many three ways or even more than that so guys that was completely it thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial